Ready to get started building your own digital brain? Create an account and log in at thebrain.com. Now, I'll click on New Brain and give my brain a name to get started. When constructing a brain, one option is to let AI assist you with suggestions and content, but for this tutorial, I'll focus on building a brain thought by thought. I'll start by creating some new thoughts related to my life and work. I'll click and drag off the child gate to create new subcategories, or child thoughts. Under my business thought, I'll create thoughts for departments and current projects. Notice that I'm separating each individual thought with a semicolon to create multiple thoughts at one time. I've created some thoughts for my current projects, and now I'll start adding some content. Each thought in your brain has its own content area where I can associate any type of digital content. One of my favorite features is adding easily formatted notes. I can even paste images into my notes and format tables for structured content. Advanced features, such as modifying the note in Markdown, are also available. But thought content can be much more than just notes. I can also upload files via drag and drop and add URLs as attachments. I can drag these into the content area or drag them into the Plex to create a new thought for specific documents or websites. This web page will also be referenced in another project that I'm working on. When I'm typing the parent thought name, I have the option to link to an existing thought. As my brain grows and evolves, these cross-references will become immensely useful. I'll also link this thought to my site manager who will be assisting in this project. My brain is really starting to grow. I've had some time to do some additional work, and now you can see that this thought has parent thoughts above the active thought, child thoughts below, sibling thoughts that share a common parent thought, and jump thoughts. These are related thoughts that do not fit into any type of hierarchical structure. I know I'm going to be visiting this specific thought often. I'll click the pin icon in the toolbar to pin this thought. Pins are great shortcuts that are always easily available to access frequently visited thoughts. I can also use the search option to find a specific thought or see recently visited thoughts. The brain has several different viewing options. Text view hides the Plex and allows me to focus on the content while still being able to navigate using a more traditional navigation style with parent, siblings, and jump thoughts on the left and child thoughts below. I can make a brain of virtually unlimited size with everything about my life, including hundreds of thousands of topics inside, or create multiple individual topic-specific brains. Topic-focused brains are great for sharing. To share a brain, right-click to open the Brain Access and Sharing dialog. Check Allow Public Access to allow anyone to access this brain with a shareable link. To share privately, specify who you want to share with using their email address. You can even collaborate to build a brain as a group with our Team Brain services. You can access your brain from any browser on any device, including mobile phones and tablets. I've shared just some of the features that will help you get started, but there are many more. Visit thebrain.com to learn more about the future of digital information management with the brain.